Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. My name is Melanie Kate Love, and I make videos every single Monday helping you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now, this week it is February the 11th to the 17th. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a really big week because we go through three phases of the moon, so check them out. So Monday to Tuesday, we go through the crescent moon. This is when we refine our intentions and allow the universe to guide us. Last week, we set our intentions. So the crescent moon is basically planning out the steps that you'll need to take, but you're not taking action just yet. It's literally just the planning stage. Then we move in um, from Wednesday to Friday, we move into the first quarter of the moon. This is the action phase. This is where we take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. So this is a really massive time of the moon. This is where you're literally putting what was planned into action. And if it feels good, then that's in the direction of your true authentic self, your highest good. If it doesn't feel right, then you need to ask yourself, are you thinking about this from a place of love or a place of fear? If you're thinking about this through a place of love and it doesn't feel good, then this is an opportunity for you to, to course correct, to change that. So reset your intentions and then plan everything out again, but see what works truly best for you. And then from Saturday to Sunday, we have the gibbous moon, which is the trusting phase. So your affirmation, affirmation is, I trust the process as everything is always working out for me. That's a pretty big deal. That's like surrendering to the universe and saying, you know what? I'm doing what feels right. And because I'm doing what feels right, I surrendered to your guidance and your guidance is gonna lead me on the path of least resistance to where I need to go. So I'm very excited to hear about what comes up for you this week. We have a general reading this week using the Shadowscapes tarot so if you're new to weekly angel guidance just take from this what feels truly best for you this could be one card it could be all of the cards it just really depends on where you're at on your journey i'm reading for the collective of the mkl fam around the globe and the majority of you have been putting in the work and i mean a lot of work and you are manifesting some super flipping incredible incredible things so without further ado let's get on I just noticed that as soon as I press record, my nose started running and my throat feels funny. So let's see what that's all about. All right, so Monday, the crescent moon. What do we need to know? Oh, there it is. Ooh, okay, so we have the three of pentacles. Did we have this last week? We did. Oh my gosh, we have this from Friday last week. So the three of pentacles, is like your support system. This is being around people that lift you up to take you to new heights. Um, this is people who are supportive and are loyal and who get your direction. There's a chameleon actually next to the person that's lifting you up. So this could be someone who is very non-judgmental and um, is very adaptable. If you say you're going left, they're like, sure, if left is where you feel that you need to go, then they support you. Instead of going, are you sure you want to go left? You know, then they don't have that type of vibration. So Monday, finding that support system again. So interesting that that came up last week too. All right. So finding people. This could be your soul tribe as well. We've been talking a lot about that in the last couple of months. What else would this be? This is a new form of abundance. This could be also sharing this abundance with other people. All right, let's see what we need to know for Tuesday. This is also in the crescent moon. One card angels, please. For my MK love fam. Tuesday. There it is. Oh, okay. So Tuesday we have the Hermit card. So this is an opportunity. It's interesting that this comes in because normally I would be like, okay, it's kind of be like more balsamic moon kind of energy. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening to my throat, but <clears throat> it doesn't feel good. Um, okay. 
so the hermit is taking time away. So obviously last week we had the King of Pentacles on Saturday, which was a pretty big deal. Now that you've reached this new level, because we talking a lot about your passion projects and these massive changes in which you're going. And along the way, it's like you really have to continue to, to find that balance. And that balance means literally taking time away for yourself. This could be taking time to just breathe. Because remember last the last two weeks we had um, go easy on me, go easy. Um, please don't feel so hard. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just a delicate flower inside your own. Whatever the words are to Jessie's song. And oh my God, oh, I love listening to her sing that live. Be, it's like, I feel like this is like being easy on yourself, but also an opportunity for you to go within and to reconnect. And sometimes you can't be all like, go, 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 go. Yeah, this is the phase of the moon when, you know, it's interesting that that comes up the day before the action phase. So it's like, you know, Prep yourself. You know, if you're going to be working really, really hard in this action phase of the moon, you need to protect your vibration. So if that means going to bed early, then you need to make that a priority. This could also be, you know, having a facial, having a massage. This could, but the hermit is also with like deep within, like what is your self-love practices that makes you feel good about yourself? Cause your angels are saying you need to be doing more of that. And that is a massive life shift in events. Maybe you're gonna get some cosmic downloads from your beautiful angels or the universe, or I don't know, anyone that is in the spirit form. Maybe someone's trying to connect with you. So maybe somebody who has passed away and they have a message that's going to help lead you to this next phase before you take action. I feel like there's some wisdom within you taking time for yourself because when you do that you move up the emotional guidance scale to the frequency of love when you're meditating when you're just doing the things that make you feel good and then you're not like in fear and depression down the like level 22 of the scale and this is an opportunity for you to allow those messages to come in so you can be receptive to them and you'll be like oh thank you and then maybe it's going to give you something that you need to move forward I don't know but this is very important find make don't you need to carve out time of your day you have to make this a priority i feel like this will also help to protect your energy but i feel like there's a message in which your angels are trying to communicate with you this could be through angel numbers this could be songs this could be from something popping up on your instagram feed i don't know an email that you receive all right so wednesday oh that came up pretty quick <laughs> So Wednesday, we have the Knight of Swords. So fast moving energy, but this the Swords is like conflict or challenges. And then I heard, don't step me down, cause I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball, don't step me now. That is not on the right key. Just give me a call, don't bump up, cause I'm having a good time. I just hear don't, I, all, I, I, the lyrics are just gone boom, boom, boom. I was like, I don't even know how to sing that. <laughs> What's the key? It's like, okay. It's like, you're not going to, maybe Tuesday was an opportunity for you to just, you know, take yourself away to reconnect, to listen to whatever those cosmic downloads because it's propelling you for Thursday, for Wednesday when you're taking massive inspired action towards your passion projects, the, the things that make you feel good, whatever it is that you are trying to manifest, your angels are saying that you are an unstoppable force. You're not allowing any conflict or anything that comes up. It's like you've got your protective armor on and you're like, Doom! you know, it's like pedal to the metal kind of thing. It's like nobody's gonna get in your way. And you, know, you have your sword out, so it's like, you know, you want to mess with me? You know, it's not very, I don't feel like it's confrontational. It's like, you don't even, it's like, you're going, you're moving so fast that the that you can't even absorb anything, any negativity around you because you're so laser focused on where you want to go. Oh, that's, that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, Thursday, what do we need to know for Thursday? I'm going to pull these ones and then those two other ones if we need it. Oh my God, I don't even have a tissue. What is happening with my nerves? 
running, running, what does the running mean? Running away, running towards your goals. Let me just check the metaphysics to see what that is. No, it represents self-recognition. Runny nose, asking for help. Oh, inner crying. So you're asking for help. Okay, so I feel like you may be either you may be struggling a little bit or you may be you may have bitten off more than you can chew. Wow, I didn't expect that. Runny nose. Self-recognition, so not recognizing that you need to ask for help. Maybe that's why on Monday. My nose feels fine now. Okay, so I got the message out, but my gosh, it feels like someone just <clears throat> got me in the throat. Okay, so maybe that explains more about what Monday is, which is the three of pentacles. So finding that support, people to guide you. This is literally saying, I can't do this by myself. Well, I can, but it's gonna take me forever. And I'm asking for you to help me along this. Because we've been talking so much about finding people that can get you to where you need to be. Yeah. Oh, that is interesting. Okay. So for Thursday, one of the cards that came up, well, the first one is the high priestess. So this is your intuition. I feel like that kind of links in with the hermit card. And that's another major shift in events too. So I'm going to, but she's got the pomegranate there. So the pomegranate represents like fertility, but then she's also guided by the phases of the moon. She's got a crescent and then she's also got a balsamic moon on either side of her capes. And she's also got the owl there, which is, you know, guiding her through the darkness. There's a song. Um... It's been a long and winding journey. Da -da 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 -da. Carrie Underwood. Um, picking up the pieces. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. It's been a long and winding journey. See if I can work out what this song is. I just heard that. Oh, Angels Brought Me Here. Angels brought me here. My dreams came true when I found you. My miracle. If you oh, that's really high. When I see you're the answer to my prayers. The answer to your prayers is coming through your intuition. So I feel like you really need to meditate this week and you really need to ask for help. That's going to help you get to where you need to go faster. I don't feel like I need those other two cards. I feel like the song kind of answered it for me. I love when the songs do that. I'm like, I just heard a couple of lyrics. I'm like, what does that mean? Okay, Friday. You're the answer to my prayers. Whoa, the answer to your prayers is totally answered for Friday. The four of wands is a massive celebration. So you have gotten to a different level of success in your passion projects. You, you asked for help. You found that support system. Because it's like, if you are not, okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, so if you, because you have told someone what has been going on for you, whether this could be in a t turmoil, that it could be too much going on for you, or maybe this is like asking for help in like the next level of your business. I f I'm f directed more towards the inner turmoil part because I feel like whatever is being said around this time, this is really odd, whatever is being said around this time, you are taking your power back because you are telling your story. This Maybe this is a story that you've held on to for such a long time and now you're getting to the stage where, you, where you're telling someone what you've been struggling with so then they can help you instead of like, keeping it all buried deep within and going like, why is I'm having one relationship failed after another, after another, after another? Why do I keep manifesting all of these people that come and go so quickly in my life? Why am I manif Why do not, I not have any financial abundance to do the things that I love? And your angels are saying, the moment that you, you 
you state the story, whatever you're saying, I feel like there's a lot happening on Monday. So I feel like whatever is happening on Monday and you're taking your power back, that's helping you to move forward. It's like, big wheels keep on turning. Proud Mary, keep on rolling. Cause I'm, yeah, it's like the wheels can move again because before you've been so stuck. Think of it like a car, like Louise L. Hay says that your car is a reflection of your reality. So if your tire blows, that means that you have no traction or mobility or movement in life. You're stuck, you know? I remember when I first met Peter, my, the battery in my car died, which signified when I got a new battery, I got a new heart, a new heart for a new relationship. So interesting to pay attention. I don't know why the car thing came up. I just felt like I had to tell you, but it's interesting that this came up for Saturday because let me just pull my notes up again because Saturday is the trusting phase of the moon, but this is also the celebration. Maybe this is trusting that you will be able to receive the celebration. Are we? No, we're not even on to Saturday. What am I talking about? That's the crescent moon. So Wednesday to Friday is the action phase. Maybe you're celebrating how far, maybe you're celebrating that you're actually, either you made a sale, your first sale in your business. This could be you took inspired action to start your eight week um, training program in yoga, you know? <clears throat> I just feel like this is hard for you. <clears throat> and now the pain went to my, my heart chakra. We've been having this for a, like three weeks to even a month and I'm feeling this. It's just like someone has just gone whack in my throat and it's like, <clears throat> it's hard to talk. Like it feels like I have a big lump in my throat. I'm going to get more clarity on that one because how does that fit in with the action? Oh, I got one more clarity. I'll give you lots of clarity, girl. I just want one card, please. Clarity on the four of wands for the action phase. Oh, we've got another one. So we've got four. So this is stability, but this is also like celebrating, but then it's like you celebrate what you've done, but then you're like, oh, I don't know if I can get it again. That's probably why I feel like it doesn't feel there's like more to that day. So Saturday, Friday, the four of ones is like having abundance, but you're, you're too possessive because you feel like you can't get that level again. Like maybe you've manifested something so big and you're like, oh my God, I'm incredible. This is amazing. Holy shit. How am I ever going to do that again? You know, anything is possible. All right. So Saturday, there we go. Very quickly is the giver's moon. This is trusting. Oh, so we've got the Hierophant. So this is the giver of knowledge, the giver of wisdom. This could be a teacher. This could be you helping somebody else, but this is someone who is deeply knowledgeable about a topic. I wonder what this means for you. But he is so grounded, you know, it's like he's not, he's got animals climbing all over him. He's got trees, not trees, he's got um, different plants growing in between the vines of like, not the vines, like his roots. I just seem like he just goes with the flow of life and is very calm and he's grounded. There's a sun down the bottom. So the sun is, is the lightness, but then he's also got the moon. So it's the darkness. So it's like the balance of the light and the dark. Whoa, I've never seen that on this card before. He's got chameleons, a chameleon on his, ha on his hand. And there's some kind of thing that's got wings. I don't know if that's a chameleon that has wings. I'm not really sure, but then there's another bird on his other hand. This is like deep, grounded, rooted wisdom. Whoever you're offering, whoever is helping you through this time or whoever you are helping, you're very grounded and you have a lot to give. Maybe this is like sharing your story. Maybe you have a lot to give by just, I don't know, I keep going back to this, your story. Like what is the story you keep telling about yourself? Are you someone that has suffered through childhood trauma and you haven't gotten to the stage where you've openly told someone and said, do you, do you remember when I was five years old and I was sexually abused? You know, take your power back, own your story. 
that happened and you're going to use that pain, that horrible pain, and you're going to turn it into greatness. You can help save the world through your message. You know, you could spy, inspire someone in such a way that they're, that they are like, if that person can take their power back, then so can I. I never read that for that card either. All right. Sunday, trusting the process. Whoa, there was, there's a lot of cards that flipped then. Those three. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. So there's three cards that came out for Sunday. The first one is the five of wands. So the five of wands is like, there's going to be conflict that's going to come up. This could be conflict in terms of like fear. This could be conflict from other people. This could you be you avoiding conflict, but this is like, nothing's going to stop you because you've, you've said, okay, this is my story. This is where I am. And because you've gone to the stage where you're owning your power now, you're like, you know, it can only go up from here. And then we have the Ace of Swords, which is a new, a new beginning of, it's like you faced all the demons. You got to the end of the sword suit, you know, and this is the new beginning. This is like life. This is creativity. This is transformation. But the sword here is devil edge. So you take from this what feels best for you. Are you going to choose this from a place of love or a place of fear? Because when conflict, conflict comes up, because imagine if you just come out and you just say, oh my gosh, I'm telling my family that I was abused as a child and they have no idea, no idea what has happened to you. This can go two ways. You can choose to tell them from a place of love or a place of fear. How they react is not a reflection of you. It is just a reflection of them. Your, all you have to do is own your power and you can't control what happens by you saying that, why do I keep, I'm, I didn't expect this to go this way. I just feel like this is you taking your power back, however this looks. And then we've got the King of Pentacles. So it's like you find a way to deal with that contrast and you choose to speak from a place of love and all of the abundance. It's like the relief. We had this last week too. We had this last Saturday. All that relief that you have been seeking from is coming. You have to trust that you have done the right thing. It doesn't matter how they react. All you can focus on is you, this new fabulous you that you're creating. You don't want to take the old story from your past life and this lifetime into the future. You're leaving that at the door. We've been talking about this is a clear a clean slate that you were going on and you're taking your power back. You're not allowing fear to dictate you anymore. You are asking for help because that makes you feel good and, and that's going to take you to where you need to faster than you spending like 12 years trying to figure it out for yourself. This is you spending time away from other people to process everything because this is a big jump for you. This is you taking inspired action. This is you not allowing contrast to penetrate into your soul. This is you trusting your intuition to guide you to where you need to. This is you celebrating where you're at, but then also being mindful of your vibration that yes, you have celebrated it, but it doesn't mean that you can't do it again. You know, you have to believe and trust in yourself. This is the higher wisdom, the higher knowledge that you are gaining through this experience. And this is like the king of the king of pentacles. Two weeks in a row, we've had this. This is the highest level of abundance. This could be your emotional freedom. This could be your ticket to emotional freedom, however that looks like for you. Oh my gosh, my loves. If you need extra help and you are struggling and maybe I hit some nerves for you this week, please check out my free exclusive training over on my website, melaniekatelove.com. I highly recommend if you were really thinking about making peace with your pain, you know, and not allowing your childhood trauma to rule the rest of your life. Applications for my one-on-one -on -one online coaching business is now open. Um, this is going to be for my second round. I've had my beautiful um, high vibe clients have just gone through their two months and now I'm opening the doors to spend two weeks trying to find my new clients for the next round. Please be mindful, I only take on four clients. So this is an application um, 
only process where I go through and I jump on one-on-one -on -one calls with you for 45 minutes to see if I can actually help you and we're an energetic match to work together because that's the most important thing. I'm not gonna spend eight weeks with you if I feel like you don't even give a shit. You know, I'm not gonna spend eight weeks with you if you're like, ah, oh, this is too hard. I want people that are on the ground crying and going, Mel, I do not know what else to do. I have tried everything. I surrendered to the process. Tell me what I need to do in those eight weeks and I will do it. They're the type of people that I'm manifesting and I know that I'm gonna get them. I'm not going to be like this, where was that? That four of pentacles because I have manifested my dream clients before and I'm gonna do it again. And if you would love to be considered as one of those beautiful dream clients, please check the link below. This is not going to last for ages. Enrollments are not open all the time um, because I would love, 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 love to help guide you through this process of healing your childhood traumas so you can find that emotional freedom. Then when you finish the course, then once you've cleared the, those blockages out, you then have the power to manifest your dream life. You can't manifest if you have blockages. It just doesn't work. You'll find roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. So if something has hit a nerve with you, please consider checking out my free exclusive training. It's a 20 minute free video um, where I talk you through how I've healed my own childhood traumas and how you can do the same. So go through the training. Then after that, if you feel like you would love to book in for a free one-on-one -on -one 45 minute session with me, do not hesitate because last time I did this, there were so many applications came coming through that I was like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. And I have to prioritize people who are willing to invest in themselves right away. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, speaking of tea, <laughs> then I would absolutely love, love, love to hear from you. Anyways, my love, please comment below and let me know what has come up for you because as always, I love hearing from you. If you've joined me on the live chat, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, let me know what comes up. Like what was your, what card really hit a nerve for you this week? Because you know, I just, I love hearing where you're at. And then I love seeing as you comment throughout the weeks and then I'm like, oh my gosh, your vibration has shifted. You've totally healed something. This is amazing. And I love seeing that progress. So anyway, if you're new to the firm and you haven't yet subscribed, hit that red subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified as soon as I upload each and every episode. In the meantime, follow me over on Instagram at Melanie Kate Love, and I'll be chatting to you throughout the week. Anyways, my love, I love you, I love you, I love you, and I will talk to you next week. Bye!